The trailer is here! The full trailer for the upcoming third season of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous has now released, so let's jump in. A quick note, a day before the full trailer dropped, a short clip from the season was teased in a Netflix, new on Netflix, May 2021 video, showing our familiar campers being terrorized by a group of dimorphodons in a new location. A screenshot also released showing Sammy, Yasmina, and Brooklyn surrounding a baby Brachiosaurus, which gave off major Littlefoot vibes. But let's jump into the full trailer. The trailer opens up on a makeshift raft sailing away from Isla Nublar, oil drums for floats, and a sail fastened from a Jurassic World banner. The campers are celebrating their escape from Jurassic World only to be blindsided and washed ashore by a giant wave, setting them back to square one, stranded. This is a deep cut to something you probably didn't know existed. In early Jurassic Park 3 scripts, before being rescued by the military, Grant and Co built a raft in the exact same way, only their sail was of a banner featuring John Parker Hammond himself. Only unlike the campers, they were attacked by Pteranodons and then rescued. But we'll explore that more in a Jurassic Park 3 video soon. We see three Brachiosaurs traveling through the canopy as a storm brews in the background, perhaps the same storm that upends their escape plans. The campers are drawing something on a chalkboard, seemingly passing time and documenting escape plans. It features a crashed helicopter in flames. This could be a reference to Mizrani's helicopter that they saw go down, or perhaps a failed rescue attempt that will happen in the season. The chalkboard also shows gyrospheres underwater. Perhaps they tried using them to float away. It also shows them being chased by pteranodons, another possible reference to events that will occur in Season 3. A funny and interesting detail, Brooklyn's dark roots are growing in, showing the passage of time. We see the campers climbing down an elevator shaft, seemingly into the underground staff tunnels that connect the island's buildings, paddocks, and various areas. The campers are then seen crawling through a vent system, likely hiding from a dinosaur. This is probably the hotel, which we see later in the trailer with the silhouette of the Monolophosaurus. At long last, it appears that Camp Cretaceous will dive into the legacy of Jurassic Park, allowing the story to cover ground over many generations of Jurassic. It is unclear what the campers may be looking for here, perhaps shelter, gear, or simply getting the lay of the land. Either way, we couldn't be more thrilled to see more of the original park, and we hope this season delivers some surprises there. We see the aforementioned silhouette of the Monolophosaurus within what appears to be the Jurassic World Hotel. This is the first time we've seen inside the halls of the hotel, but we did see inside one of the rooms during Jurassic World. The Monolophosaurus is the first new, real dinosaur species that Camp Cretaceous has added, and the first new species added to the franchise since the Nasutoceratops in 2019 with Battle at Big Rock. The Monolophosaurus is distinguishable by its narrow, rectangular skull adorned by a singular crest. But despite superficial appearance similarities with the Dilophosaurus, it is actually an Allosaurid. Now here is where things become curious. This species is totally out of left field and has never been featured on any Jurassic Park or Jurassic World species lists. However, it was made into a toy by Mattel in 2018. It seems that that design has been adapted into the show, albeit changed, and thanks to the upcoming human dino pack from Mattel's Jurassic Campus collection, we know what it'll look like in the show. Packaged with Kenji, this new carnivore feels very unique and is a welcome addition to Jurassic World, if not utterly unexpected and canonically confusing. Kenji says, everyone knows this place is haunted while the group are in the hotel, but it then cuts to him in the Jurassic Park ruins. Could he actually be talking about the Jurassic Park ruins themselves? And if so, perhaps it's well known that some of the more spookier dinosaurs have made their home there. Kenji has a small amount of facial hair growing, again showcasing the passage of time. The campers open a door to a building, seemingly leading them to the once secure storage area of the all-important hybrid E750. This location gives off similar vibes to the maintenance shed in Jurassic Park. We see scratch marks around E750's facility. This animal seems to be incredibly vicious. Brooklyn puts her tech-savvy skills to use and logs into a Jurassic World laptop, perhaps Dr. Wu's, and finds video logs of Dr. Wu talking about E750. Wu seems distraught about how aggressive the creature is becoming. It is interesting to note that they've decided to not make Dr. Wu appear evil here. Also interesting to note, on the background of the video log, we see other project folders with letters and numbers. Could these be other featured secret dinosaurs or projects? 
we are told E750's lab was actually where they created the Indominus Rex, and it appears that E750 is a failed prototype of the Indominus Rex, which contains many Indoraptor-like traits. It looks like Wu survived a scuffle with E750 during his video log days at the park. This may mean we will see it as a younger animal, which is also exciting. We have to leave the island now. Chronologically, this could happen before the gang attempt to escape via boat. All the same, they are aware of E750, and this new hybrid poses a major threat to the campers. We see the gang in a vehicle that's being attacked by Blue. The vehicle looks like it could be a Jurassic World staff vehicle. It's refreshing to not see Blue painted only as the hero dinosaur here, instead seemingly playing off her instincts as a velociraptor. We see Yaz running through a forest and performing an impressive slow motion jump. She has something in her hands. Could this be the compass that she is packaged with in the Human Dinosaur 2 pack? In this pack, she comes with Blue and Compies, likely tying into the earlier scene. She then seems to either fall short or get dragged backwards. In another deep cut, we see the kids fleeing from Dimorphodons via a hand glider. This also is a moment repurposed from a cut ending, only not Jurassic Park 3, but The Lost World, where the heroes would escape from raptors and pteranodons while hang gliding across the workers' village. We don't know who this super fan is making these choices, but we have to thank you for it. Speaking of the Dimorphodons, this is the first time we've seen them since 2015's Jurassic World. They were curiously absent from 2018's Fallen Kingdom. Of note, they seem to be lacking the spiked ridges on the snout and the fur on their back, likely just a change for animation stylization. This is a good time to circle back to the clip that Netflix teased the day before this trailer came out. Involving the Dimorphodons, we appear to be in a new location by gondolas. The kids are observing or collecting Dimorphodon eggs, perhaps to eat, only to incite the rage of the flock of flying reptiles. This new location here shows us the gondola lifts of Jurassic World, which were mentioned on maps and seen in concept art, but not shown in the movie. We then see the campers hunkered in at their makeshift shelter in the remains of Camp Cretaceous. While their treehouse is quite haphazard and Swiss Family Robinson style, they have somehow constructed an electrical fence around the treehouse. A storm is raging, perhaps placing this scene soon after the failed escape attempt from the beginning of the trailer. The campers take shelter in fear and preparation of a coming threat, gripping basic tools as weapons. We hear a sound very similar to the Indoraptor, as a raptorian foot slams into the ground as the storm rages. Its skin is darker, though perhaps not as dark as the Indoraptor. We then see it test the electronic fence by rubbing against it, a callback to what Muldoon said about the Velociraptors. They were testing the fences for weaknesses systematically. They remember. The gang then appear to lose track of where the E750 is. Could the E750 perhaps have the camouflage capabilities of the Indominus Rex? And then, the big reveal. We see its head, adorned with near jet black scales, oily blue iridescent sheens. Its eyes are orange, similar to the two hybrids it is related to, and covered in numerous spike-like quills. Curiously, the little tease of its head seems to showcase a more Rasuchian-like shape, not dissimilar to the Postosuchus rather than something more raptor or allosaur-like. When we saw it testing the fence earlier, its gait seemed lower to the ground, perhaps suggesting it's quite similar to the Indoraptor and favors quadrupedal posture. Much like the aforementioned Monolophosaurus, E750 marks the first time a new species has been introduced to the franchise since 2019, and is only the third time Camp Cretaceous has created their own unique designs from scratch, counting the Mono and Bumpy. Speaking of Bumpy, she is curiously absent from this entire trailer, we suspect that there may be more to that story, but don't have any guesses to what. But if we were to delve into baseless speculation territory, could Manticore be involved? And could they be tied to the crashed helicopter we mentioned earlier in the trailer? We suspect that there will be new characters added this season, which runs 10 episodes instead of 8. And this trailer is only the tip of the iceberg. Now, if you're lamenting the potential loss of Bumpy, then fear not. Season 3 will be adding a new cute dinosaur and a fourth unique design, a baby Brachiosaurus. We're not sure how it fits into the storyline, but it was tweeted out by the official Netflix account promoting the season, and even has an upcoming Wild Pack Mattel toy. Excitement is brewing for the third season of the show, and with the trailer now out in the wild, we have a close look at what the campers will be getting up to this season, and we get our first real look at the elusive E750 hybrid. This was a fun trailer that revealed new locations that we'll be seeing, showing that there's still so much more of Isla Nublar for us to explore. Season 3 drops on Netflix on May 21st, so how excited are you for the third season of Camp Cretaceous? 
Let us know down below in the comments section. And if you like this video, then hit that like button. And if you aren't already, then subscribe for more content. The Jurassic Outpost store is open and we're selling Jurassic themed clothing, mugs, fitted masks, and much more. Head to JurassicOutpost.com forward slash store to check it out and check the video description for discounts and deals, including 10% discount on all Jurassic Park items in the Vice Press store. As always, head to JurassicOutpost.com for more news and information.